Well, welcome back. Sun's in my eyes. You can't really see if I'm in focus or not, so apologize if I'm not. But in this episode, we're going to go over the new project vehicle. You can kind of see it there behind me, but uh, let's uh, take a better look at it. So this is the rig I got the wife. She uh, always liked Broncos. I was never a big Bronco guy, even though I got a lot of miles on one. I had a 91, five-speed 302, drove it everywhere. But uh, she always liked that, and she never complained once about this whole Mustang project. So I uh, told her that we'd build her something, and this is what she wanted to build. So it's got, and you can see typical Bronco, Bronco cancer there, there, up here. We'll uh, have to get patch panels. I'd like to do full quarters if I could, but um, fender. I have a, I've got a good fender. Rather than cut and patch, I've got a good fender. Um, it's on 33s. It's got an 8.8 in the rear. Detroit locker, chromoly axle shafts. It's got a stacker of seats about that thick for all the stuff the guys, the guy did to it. Um, I bought it off a kid who bought it off the guy that originally built it. Um, got James Duff solid axle swap. It's got a high pinion, high pinion Dana 44 in the front, open diff. Um, come inside, it's got a ZF5, um, you know, your typical 90 Bronco interior. It had a great big ugly bench seat in it. Um, we got rid of that because bench seat in a Bronco sucks. Um, had these seats in a parts Bronco down back. They've been exposed to the elements for the last 20 years, but we uh, washed the raccoon shit off the front seat. Simple green, a pressure washer, wash all the moss and whatever off, and they're not, they're not the best seats. They're not terrible either. There's a couple bullet holes in them because you know, somebody may or may not have shot at that parts Bronco over the years, but did that, back seat's decent. Um, in the process of it, I noticed that the floor, the floor all the way back, at least to the front of the back seat, I haven't looked behind in the door panels. You can't really see in there, but behind the door panels is all done with that uh, dynamite stuff. So the guy built it, he he did a pretty good job. Spent, spent some money on it, but the coolest part about it, other than the ZF5, is what's under the hood. Now you'd expect to find a 302 or a 351. This one's only got half that many cylinders. It's a 4BT Cummins. We uh, did some work to it because it had some issues. Um, had some issues. It was running and driving, but <clears throat> originally had compound turbos, which it came with all the stuff for the compound turbos, but they were having an issue getting the uh, getting the oil to drain back and it was pushing it was pushing the oil out of the other turbo so um, we in order to, to mess with it there originally had it's got a 6BT manifold that was cut and capped so the turbo was actually up here but it came with this other manifold so we put the stock manifold back on it's got the stock HX30 down there which the problem with it pushing oil is the seals in that turbo are bad um, but in the process of doing that we powder coated the charge pipes pink and it came with those rocker covers there that they were already wire wheeled and shiny so we put them on and had that fancy PCV type system there so we put that on too um, it's for the wife and figured we'll do that stuff pink but the exhaust when we first got it what what led me to all this is the exhaust downpipe came down because it was originally for the would come off the turbo that was down there on the compounds the one turbo is up here the other is down there so it wouldn't made up with the exhaust well the kid that I got it from had just been driving it with the exhaust pointed right there at the firewall so everything under here is covered with soot it didn't really get nasty inside but I mean you can't drive it with it blowing soot right at the fucking firewall so we uh, addressed that would have been easier just to build another downpipe in hindsight but whatever that's what we did we moved the turbo down it's got an egt probe there and um we have pretty much everything for the compounds but i couldn't figure out his piping otherwise i would have put the compounds back on it so we're going to yank the motor and uh paint it all up make it look good probably not going to be 
to the level that the Mustang is with hiding wires and whatever, but we'll uh, clean her up the best we can, get some Cummins beige on that cute little 4BT. Um, but yeah, it's uh, down this side. It's quarters are bad on. I also had to put a tailpipe on it because the original tailpipe ended right there. So the whole back of it was covered in soot. So I just had a three inch 180 and I cut a piece off and we ran it out, three inch exhaust into a five inch tip. But yeah, this little more body work than I wanted to get into with a with the Bronco. However, mechanical wise, it's like 98%. The brakes are all new, you know, new drums, new rotors, everything's new. Um, it doesn't have any sway bars. I will be trying to put a sway bar in the front. It's a little boaty. Um, the wife can really drive it. She can, she handles it pretty well, but I have kind of a hard time with it. But <clears throat> yeah, so that's the, that's the new project. We're not really gonna, we're gonna do the body on it, paint it all up nice and, uh, you know, clean the motor up, paint that up and get the compounds back on. It'll be a lot easier to build the compound turbos when it's on the stand in front of you. So um, that's pretty much all we're planning on. It's got bigger injectors, um, the pump's turned up a little bit, has a brand, or a remand pump or whatever, brand new rebuilt pump on it. I got a receipt for that. Um, but yeah, we'll just do some cleaning up on it and uh, do some cleaning up and get the body done and some cleaning on the interior and maybe find different wheels and tires I don't know but so anyways that uh that's it stay tuned be a lot of content coming on this um as always thanks for watching hit the subscribe give me a thumbs up leave me a comment thanks for watching you honestly didn't think I was going to leave the video without a little tidbit of this thing running did you that's the sticker the sticker that molly made she does vinyl bronco logo with the cummins logo and then she she mimicked the eddie bauer logo for the carnes motorsports and the the five trees and the eddie bauer logo because it's an eddie bauer but you can hear it it's uh little, little baby diesel cummins down the road you know highway speed and I'll be honest other than the fact that it blows black smoke and it makes a little more noise it vibrates a little more you wouldn't really notice a difference power wise versus the 302 that would have been in it from the factory but anyways for real this time thanks for watching hit the thumbs up subscribe drop me a comment thanks for watching